presented by 2K Sports for this Thursday afternoon game. So a look at our starting five for the Kings brought to you by State Farm. And for the Lakers. Boy, you have to feel a little sorry for Kings fans. I mean, you think about what they've been through the last year or so. It looked like the team was all set to move to Anaheim. That fell through. Then there was a reprieve for Sacramento. They thought they had an exciting new arena deal. That fell apart, and now it's kind of back to square one. Nobody seems to know what's going to happen with this Kings franchise. So the Lakers win the tip. Out of bounds, Sacramento will take possession. Just a roller coaster ride for Sacramento and Kings fans. Steve, you're right, really. What I imagine the team wants is just to have some certainty of where their future is. You know, Clark, that's a big thing for any town, any team. Without question, Kevin. Anytime there's rumors swirling about the team as to where it's going to be located, it can't be good for anybody associated with the organization, especially the players. Down to five on the shot clock. No good. And it's the Lakers the other way. And it's the Lakers on the break. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin. I spoke with the Lakers head coach. His team knows how to do the dirty work, and that's what he says he's going to rely on to carry them through this game. All the extra possessions they can get from crashing the boards makes a difference for them on the offensive end. Let's see if they can keep that pace up here, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. So Clark, an early focus on crashing the boards well, here. Well, that, that's Obviously. always, Kevin, a big part of winning basketball is uh, doing a good job on the glass. So many advantages come from owning the glass on both ends of the court. And here are the Kings now. It's a three-point game. Number 15 buries it down low. Yeah, saw just a little bit of daylight and went right to the rim. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Stolen. Number 11 gets an open look and hits. Sacramento on defense. Here's Mikan. Rebound by the Kings. One on one here. Number 11. That's good. Gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Number seven, another shot. He flies to the bucket and lays it in. Well, you're not going to get a more high-quality look than that. Terrific offensive rebound there. The high post shot, no luck. Ill advised shot selection right there, Clark. It really was. I mean, very low percentage shot there. Deflected. And the Kings pushing it up now. Duncan. And the shot is good. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Down goes the slam. Yeah, he spent a little extra time on the rim there. It looked like I look like a checking his landing. I think Clark Mann, pretty big statement, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or so he'd have the refs believe. Number 14 floats in the hook shot. You just can't get to it. That hook is the perfect weapon. Lakers trail by three. First quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And the shot is good. You 
know, it went down, guys, but still unusual to go to the leaner there with so much space around him. From about 16, it's rebounded by Pollard. Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. If he's got to make those, he's going to take his game to the next level. And not much resistance on that jam. Yeah, defensively, you're right. Not a great sequence. Well, they lost track of him, and they paid the price. The Kings have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Number 16. And that one's good. I like the way they got the ball inside there. The Kings shooting their first free throw of the night here. Staples Center was just an unwelcoming venue all around last season, and the Lakers did their part by defending the home court not only with pride, but passion, too. So, timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Lakers always tough, as you mentioned, Clark, here at home, and last year, no different, ended up 26-7 uh, and seven here inside the Staples Center. It was a big part, Steve, of why they were able to win the Pacific Division. Well, any team that is a serious championship contender, uh, Kevin, is going to control its home floor. And the Lakers, despite the fact that they lost in the conference semifinals, uh, they, they were a contender, and they controlled their home floor pretty much all season long. Kings have gone 6 of 9, shooting it well. Number 11. Hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. He has 6. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Lakers trail by four. And the pass to Pollard. Lakers working the ball around now. Number seven. Offensive rebound. Here's Mikan. Gets it to go. Hasn't had a whole lot of misses here in the quarter. Very sharp shooting right now. It's fun to watch. Number 11, snatched up, number 14, and that one's good. And Kevin, keep an eye tonight on how many plays he keeps alive for his club. Just the way he works, the way he moves, the way he anticipates plays before they happen, constantly looking to get an offensive board. And you know something else I like about him? He's a down-in-the-trenches type of player. He's not worried about how he looks. He'll get to the floor after a loose ball. He'll sacrifice his body for a tough rebound without thinking about it at all. That offense just keeps on clicking. It sure does, Clark. They're getting high percentage looks and really taking advantage here. Sacramento might be called the Kings, but they were anything but regal or royal when they headed out on the road. I mean, last season just brutal for them in unfriendly territory. You look back at the road record for the Kings. Last year, Steve, 6-27 and for them. And uh, they just had a very difficult time finding ways to win and score on the road. Well, Sacramento's defense was awful last year, Kevin. No way to get around that. And when you don't play defense, you're not going to win on the road. It's too difficult. So that's the biggest thing, I think, heading into this season and, and looking beyond. Uh, shoring up that defense will give them a better opportunity to win away from home. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. Good on both. You know, with the Lakers, it's all about winning titles. Anything else is considered a disappointment. And they were tested early, though. And it's the Kings with the ball. They lead by four. Fires it up. Scooped up. A minute 42 left in the first. Steps back and trains the jump shot. 
We go back to that matchup for the Lakers against Denver. Kobe's illness had the uh, stomach flu, our chest out with the suspension. Meta World Peace, you know, had gotten the late regular season suspension with the elbow to the side of the head of James Harden. Steve, they were certainly facing their struggles. Yeah, and then those struggles caught up to them in the next round, Kevin, when they uh, lost to the Oklahoma City Thunder, the younger, more talented team winning in that one. So for the Lakers, you know, moving forward, they've got a lot of talent, but it's aging talent. And sooner or later, they're going to have to get younger on that roster. They got that rebound, but this is not how they wanted to start the game in terms of hitting the glass. Yeah, it's about time they actually got a rebound. It's time to get physical here in this game. Well, everyone seems to have a hot hand here early on. You know, if they keep up this scoring pace, we'll definitely see some big point totals from both of these teams. Sacramento with the ball. Following the bucket by the Lakers. Pocket six. Number four. And they'll turn it over. Did not get off the shot. 24 second violation. So it's both teams making substitutions here. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Guys, a potent offense right now. Yeah, Kevin, really the offense is flowing quite nicely right now. Playing with a lot of confidence, just some self-assurance. I, I like what we're seeing. Sixteen seconds left to play in the first. And it's going to be two free throws, true contact on the shot. Yeah, nice body control there. Narrowly missing the shot. It would have been a three-point play. Had a free look at it after the foul. Nice play. The Kings have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. The first free throw is good. Both teams will make substitutions. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Mikan. Sinks that one from the post. He's got 14. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Number 15. And he beat the buzzer. But it's no good. Tie game in Los Angeles. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, Clark and Steve, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together, really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement, and it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. Number 11 takes the 12-footer and hits. Ten points for him. It's been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Uh, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. And for Sacramento. Mike, no good. And the Kings going the other way now. And for the Lakers. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. The Lakers trail. Smith right side. Bunny shot. And good on the basket. Book it. Smith's got his first points of the night. The Kings shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Kevin, if you remember, Ty Lawson slipped to 18th back in the 2009 draft, partially over concerns about his 5'11 height. But he said his size hasn't been a disadvantage in the NBA, adding, quote, it's definitely changed from the era of Magic Johnson 
6'9 point guards posting up a lot. They used to like bigger guards, but now it's all about the small guards and speed. So the league has definitely changed. Kevin, he fits right in. That's right, Doris. Thanks. And you know, Lawson is a game changer himself with his tremendous speed and quickness. Good on the three-point shot. Smith's got five points now in the quarter. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. You know, one indicator that your team is in trouble is when you give up a lot of easy baskets inside. That's exactly what happened to Sacramento last year. They could not stop anybody in the paint. Lakers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Passes to Powell. Number 12. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Look at the end of the year rankings for opponents' points in the paint. As Steve was just talking about Sacramento and the Charlotte Bobcats, Clark, finished as the bottom two by some margin. Yeah, and it's strange in that the Kings have some sides inside, but they don't play very big, Kevin. And that's a mindset and an attitude that has to change for them. Good luck. That drops. Outstanding job there to absorb the contact and guide it in. That's how you impose your will against the defender. He came to play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. So both teams changing it up here. Well, there's some very popular destinations for free agents around the league. Chicago, New York, Miami. But for me, the Lakers are still the premier market for players. You know, big city, a history of winning with the Laker organization, and fantastic weather, of course. There's the screen. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Five points in the game. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Mikan, who's guarded by Johnson. And that one's good. And Steve, to follow up on your point, the whole aspect of Hollywood has always been a big lure for the Lakers as far as recruiting Clark free agents. We've seen it over the years with all the big names they've gotten assigned in free agency. No doubt about it, the Lakers are still one of those destination teams for a lot of players in the league. Gets it to go. And the Kings lead by two. A beautiful finesse move right there. I mean, you've got to love that finger roll finish. Mikan, who's guarded by Johnson. Here's Mikan. They get the rebound. Number 10. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Number 16. Rebound the Lakers. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. And that one's good. Smith's got seven points. Just like they drew it up, fellas. The Kings have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Number 15. Can't get it to go. And the Lakers take it the other way. This is to Smith. Let's a floater go. Good on the shot. Now it's a four-point Laker lead. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Last season was the sixth straight, Kevin, where the Kings failed to make the playoffs. And really, they haven't been in postseason contention for any of those six years. And so here's Sacramento. Clark, you're right, six years, but it seems much longer than that for some reason. Doesn't it for the Kings? Mm -hmm. They're so used to making the playoffs in the years leading up to this drought. Well, prior to that, Kevin, they had made the playoffs eight consecutive years uh, before this six-year drought. So, boy, it's been a, a strange run uh, for Sacramento. Some ups and downs, and let's hope they can get this thing turned back in the right direction.
First free throw is good. You know, the Lakers have long been the pride of the West for the better part of the century, but every so often they can hit tough stretches, and last year they had a hard time with the East. And the Kings making a change here. Kings checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Yeah, they just couldn't do what the rest of the Western Conference playoff teams did against the East. And the Lakers, Steve, were uh, nine up and nine down, right at 500. Yeah, kind of surprising, given that the East was uh, the weaker conference for sure. I would have expected a better record from the Lakers. They really got off to a slow start, particularly on the road. And I think that cost them a little bit at the end. And Sacramento has possession after the basket by the Lakers. Takes a shot at the elbow. Snatched up. That's good. He's got eight. The Lakers in the lead. And there's the pass to Pollard. Again, the Lakers. The Kings have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Passes it to King. Unloads from nine. That's good. King's got his first bucket of the night. Well, he can squeeze himself into the box score every now and then. One fifty-three left in the first half of basketball. Boy, this is a shooting exhibition, guys. I mean, he's not wasting any of his chances. Fires from fourteen. Cannot hit. And the Lakers going the other way now. Now the pass to Pollard. Lakers passing it around. Picked away. And the Kings pushing it up now. Gets it to go. Six points for him. And the Lakers call time here. Because the Kings had the athletes to get up and down the floor, that's what they tried to do last season. Run and gun with teams. And, you know, it makes sense when you consider their personnel and the youth of that team. So both teams making some changes here. One ten left in the first half. Right at the free throw line. Shots good. And the Lakers lead by four. And the Kings, as you said, played Clark up-tempo. Led the league in shot attempts per game, Steve. So it wasn't for a fear of shooting. They just want to hit yeah, they're definitely not afraid to shoot. Yeah, but these guys let it fly. But what they've got to do is be smarter with their possessions and be more selective uh, with their attempts. And uh, that will come as they grow together as long as they make that commitment to sharing the basketball. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in the close game, every little advantage you can use helps. And they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. I like that one-handed spike right there. And yeah, that's how it's done. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's not going to miss many of those. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Number six gets the bucket. Mikan can hit the inside leaner. And we're through two here and a good one. Lakers lead by four. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome to 2K Sports on an NBA Thursday night. Let's check out what went down in the first half. 
The Lakers playing with poise so far, having their way on offense, and that may be an understatement. They simply can't miss. And no shortage of desire from the Kings side of things. They've done a fantastic job pushing the break in the tempo. Easy buckets in transition. And that'll do it for us here in the studio. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the game. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first third quarter starting here now. The Kings trail by four on the court for Sacramento. Tries from 16. The Lakers with the rebound. He better get going. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. He's got 24. He is always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard to the hoop. Very skilled finisher. Duncan right side. To the inside. Six to shoot. Duncan left side. And not a good shot for him. They can get better looks than that. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category. Really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour steps. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. From about 19 feet, good! He's got 14. Lakers leading by six. Here's Mikan, and there's another one for the Lakers. Just adds to what has already been a great day for him. Number 15. The shot will not go. And the Lakers take it the other way. Inside. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Duncan. And the Kings pushing it up now. Number 15. Gets it to go. And some instant offense coming for them after that steal. Yeah, that's terrific, beautiful transition basketball. No chance at all for the defense to get back and set up. And the Lakers have possession. Six-point game. Out of bounds, Sacramento will take possession. Johnson, he's checked in for Duncan. Johnson. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Defense is That's his first First team. Number 15. Well, they're not giving up the same looks that they did earlier in the first half. Much better defense here in the second. Really strong performance by them so far in the glass. You know, the lead they have in the rebounding category is also part of the reason they're on top on the scoreboard as well. Everything's going right now. Four for five shooting, 80%. They've got their offense clicking. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. The shot is good. Lakers leading by six. Tries a three. It's hauled in by the Kings. Johnson outside. Cannot hit. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Shoots from 14, and another basket for the Lakers. 
The Kings trail by eight. Number 16. An easy two points on the layup. Seven points in the game. Nice touch near the hoop. The Lakers have gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. To the paint. Here's Mikan. Again, the Lakers. He's really been the focus of their offensive game plan. And he's come through for his team as they've built this lead. It's stolen. And it's the Lakers on the break. Releases. The offensive rebound. Leads him in there. Stays with it and hits the off-balance shot. And the Lakers lead by 10. And this is why they have the big lead. The rebounding has been dominant. You know, guys, the... Um Plus eight rebounding, I don't think it tells the whole story. I mean, they've been the more physical team from the outset. That's been the difference, their physicality. Both teams deciding to change it up. On defense, the Lakers. 10-point lead. This is their big Number four. Sacramento again missing. The Lakers have gone 7-10 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Passes it to Pollard. Number 10. The three-pointer, no good. The Kings trail by 10. From 18 feet away, and that is good. It's kind of been their bread and butter here tonight, that mid-range shot. Yeah, you know, and living by the jump shot so far, they're living luxuriously and lavishly. And the Lakers have possession. Let's it go from deep. The shot is off. He's got a clear path. Number six gets it to go. Lakers leading by six. Number six. Off the mark and a bad shot there. Kings have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Dunker, that's good. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Clark, they've sheared the load offensively. Yeah, they've done a nice job with it, Kevin and Steve. I mean, everybody's touching the ball. There's a nice flow to what they're doing offensively. Well, it makes it so much tougher to defend, too, when you have to account for all five offensive players, and the ball just moves so quickly. Tough to defend that. So it's Sacramento after the basket by the Lakers. Good ball movement here by the Kings. That's good. Ten points for him. They continue to barrel their way inside, and when's the defense going to adjust? Well, I'm asking the same question to myself, partner. I mean, that's eight points out of the last ten coming inside. So both teams making some changes here. One oh six left to play in the third. Here's Mikan, and the basket good. He's got 34. I think it's as simple as this, guys. Get him the ball. That's all you need to do. Give it to him. Number 11. That's good. He's got 18. Well, they've really picked up the intensity here since halftime. I think they got the pep talk in both teams now really going after each other. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the third. Fires from the line. 
And again, it's the Lakers. He has taken over this game, guys. I don't know what else you can say about it. The Kings trail by six. Number 14, offline from the high post. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. Now, not giving up too many second chance opportunities, which is always important. And it's been one of the reasons they have the lead right now. Good luck. And he connects with the jumper. And it's an eight-point Laker lead. Man, offensive execution has been the story here. Just playing beautiful basketball. And guys, you can see it in their advantage in field goal percentage. I mean, you get high-quality shots, you're usually going to shoot well. They're playing outstanding basketball. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. The Lakers on top. They're up by eight. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up, and we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game segment. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. And it's the Lakers with the Uncontainable Game Award for the offensive stretch they put together. A big second quarter from them pushed them out in front, and they have had no problems keeping the lead. It's their game for the taking. All right, Doris, thanks. And the run Doris mentioned, guys, that was really a huge game changer here. No question, Kevin. Probably the pivotal moment in the game so far, and I thought that really set the tone. You know, one of the things that was interesting to me is you could see the body language of both teams change at that point. Um, obviously in different directions. Confident and assured on one side, and a bit of chin in your chest on the other side. Gets it to go. These guys putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. And for the Kings, Number 11. Back to Johnson. Number 15. Hits the target from 18 feet. And this continues to be a shootout. Well, I'm a fan as well as a commentator, and I love this fast-paced action. I mean, it's going back and forth, back and forth. And for the Lakers. And for the Kings. That's good. Boy, it really puts great pressure on your defense when you're trying to recover from a turnover. Yeah, and their, their defense is really in jeopardy every time they turn the ball over. So if they can take care of the ball, it'll take care of things at both ends of the floor. Tries it from nine. And there's another one for the Lakers. Yeah, points in the paint have been a huge factor here for them. Steve looking to take it inside and go up strong. That's a remedy for success. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Down low, goes up, and he lays it straight in. Well, that makes five of their last six makes coming from inside. Yeah, really focused on getting the ball into the paint because they're taking advantage of very porous defense down there. Here's Mikan. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, he brings a, a much-needed toughness, both inside and, and also setting screens. And that's uh, something he does that frees his teammates up for open jump shots. And you know what else, guys? He instigates so many of their fast breaks just because of how quick and accurate he is with his outlet passes. That's another one of his real nice talents. So both teams changing it up here. So he picks up just one from the line that time. The Kings trail by seven. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Using his post moves to get the two points. Lakers shooting 71% all in all in this one. They've been brilliant offensively. Backs him down. Number 14 gets himself open and drills it. And that's six straight points now, guys, coming on the inside. Yeah, taking it right at him. This is a great effort we're seeing. 
And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Number 15. Rebounded by the Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Now, unfortunately, he just has not been able to produce offensively to this point. Here's Mikan. That is good. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. The Kings have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. There's a good screen. Number 15. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the J. And the defense really has to pick it up here, guys. They allowed themselves to get picked too easy. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Picked his pocket. Out in his own on the break. Number four. And it's good. And now it's only a five-point Laker lead. Another turnover leading to a bucket. Yeah, they've made the most of all these chances they've gotten from turnovers. I mean, it's really fueling their offense right now. That's good. He has 45 points. Timeout called by the Kings. You know, he just isn't pleased at all with the looks they've given up defensively inside. So I think this timeout is all about trying to get his group to tighten up defensively. I think they've got to figure out a way to tighten things up a bit. They just don't look very sharp to me on the defensive side. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in on the Kings head coach during that last timeout. He doesn't think they've been giving it their all, saying they've been quicker to rebounds to every ball. we got to wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control of this thing. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. Here's Mike and goes up strong with one hand and finishes it down. That was a hole punch jam there, Kevin. <laughs> nice finish. Mm, yeah, you gotta love the way he just capped off that strong move. Number 16. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. That's outstanding hang time improvisation right there. And the Lakers call time here. They've been very untidy with the ball here. You commit turnovers when you try to do too much or you force it. They need to focus on making the simple play, good passes, and moving the ball around. Lakers leading by four. Number 14. Good. Kings have gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the fourth quarter. Really getting it done. Off the screen. No good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. To the middle. There's the steal. Number 16. Gets the bucket. Yeah, no mistakes on the offensive execution there. The Lakers have gone 7 of 7 from the field to start the final quarter. What an amazing start. Here's Mikan. Gets it to go. And the Lakers lead by 6. I guess you don't change what's working. Here. He's been magical out there. Sure has. Great fourth quarter he's playing right now. Five for five from the field. Number 15 from down low, and he finishes on the layup. Lakers leading by four. Oh. 
Here's Mikan. And again, it's the Lakers. You know, he's having a special quarter. 100% field goal shooting. They need to continue to ride it and work to get him good shot. Timeout called by the Kings. They're down by six. 149 left in the fourth. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter of this one. Baseline J on the way. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Here's Paul. Easy shot. Again, the Lakers. He's clearly been the star of this fourth quarter. I don't think he's missed a shot. No, he hasn't, guys. He's 7 for 7 right now. He's been able to get everything to go. Good ball movement here by the Kings. Count that one. Well, they've really picked up the intensity here since halftime. I think they got the pep talk in both teams now really going after each other. One oh six left here in the fourth quarter. Number 16. It's good! And he has brought them to within two points. Came through there with a key basket. Yeah, that was huge. Stepping up when it matters most. Here's Mikan. Connects! You just don't see these types of fourth quarter performances very often. Nah, you really don't. I mean, look at the numbers right now. Eight for eight from the field. 40 seconds left to play here on the fourth. Number 15. The Lakers with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. And so they choose to intentionally foul. They can more or less wrap it up right here. Yeah, as long as they concentrate, get a good look at the basket, make this a smart possession, they should be in good shape. He doesn't hit the first. Get the second one, and that puts them up by five. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Urgent possession here, Clark. They need a basket. No doubt about it, Steve. They need quick, efficient scoring. And that's an intentional foul. the first one and that increases their lead to six and the Kings making a change here second free throw misses the King shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60% they're a machine from the floor Number six, sinks it, and now they trail by just four. Got to be very careful with this team. They can be really strong inside if they get good position. Well, you give up that kind of deep position, Steve, um, you're done. It's over. There's 14 seconds left in the game. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, you got to freeze the clock. I mean, that's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. 
so the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. That slams the door, guys. No chance they're getting back in the game after those free throws. Timeout called by the Kings. They're losing by five. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter. Number 15. Good! And with the defense playing that well, the, the double clutch was the only way he was going to get that ball off. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Two shots. Gets the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he can't convert on the second. That misses. From mid-court, misses the shot. And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better to win those tight ones. Well, that'll do it for us. For Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr and Doris Burke, Kevin Harlan saying so long. As we end the game, we bring you our Jordan player of the game.